everyone. Welcome to the product school. Thank you all for joining the webinar today. Today's agenda is to go over the metrics that serves everyone. We will go over a framework to carve these metrics and also discuss few generic metrics in each category along the way. My name is Shreya Hegde and I'm working as a senior product manager in Amazon. Prior to that, I was working in Enthry, a healthcare organization and launched several B2B products for hospitals across USA. I also worked as a senior software engineer uh, in CGI in the beginning of my career. As a product manager, you will deal with tons of metrics at all stages of product lifecycle. The question is what to look for based on the goals that you've set for your product, stage of the product, and type of the product that you're managing. Good product managers will use metrics to understand aspects of their product beyond technical performance or return on investment. These benchmarks can help understand how users are responding to the solution or engaging with your product. Product success is largely based on your ability to solve for customer problems and winning in long term than achieving the short term goals. Keeping that in mind, my three go to mantras when it comes to metrics are one, maintain categories of metrics that clearly distinguishes values and tracks for all the stakeholders. Number two, have metrics that are measurable and direct reflection of your success for each stage of your product. Number three, and most important one, use metrics as your secret informer, not as your sole decision maker. With that in mind, I created and with that in mind, you can create framework to introduce metrics to the products that you manage. It provides clarity on what one should be focusing on, be it while shipping the product, to the market or even taking product through that growth stage. In internal or B2B products, you have a lot of stakeholders who measure product success through different lenses. It is easy when you categorize those different stakeholders and their perspectives. For example, engineering team would want to keep track of technical performance of the product as it is direct reflection of their work versus business or executives will want to see how this product is adding value to the org or the portfolio. As a product manager, you will pretty much track everything, but mainly paying attention to user journey and the engagement. At first, identify where your product is in its life cycle. For example, when product is in discovery or ideation stage and you are analyzing how big of an impact this could make on your business or how painful the problem is for the customer, you're paying attention to value versus the product that is in its mature stage. As you see here, the product goes through different stages of its life cycle and you'll pay attention to different metrics that suits the life cycle. Once you introduce the product to the market, you will track metrics throughout the user journey. If you notice my slide here, you will start from the customer being aware of your product, activating their account, engaging with your product, completing those core actions that your product is set out to do and you track their happiness, how many of the customers are coming back and what is the end value that it is creating. Value metrics are directly connected to organizations, North Star goal or grand vision. This could be customer metric based on the type of product. You can think of this as one metric that matters. 
Next comes the business or portfolio metrics. That is, if your product is part of product line or larger portfolio. This tracks the business outcome of product positioning. You can see those uh, categories as awareness, activation, adoption, growth, retention, and outcome. Uh, you will also notice that few categories and few metrics are overlapping between the business uh, or the portfolio metrics as well as the product metrics. Some of those individual metrics that you can track in these categories are awareness rate, average user frequency, uh, total users, adoption rate, lifetime value, uh, churn rate, retention rate, etc. Similarly, product metrics where product manager closely pay attention to the usage by customers, how well they are able to complete those core actions without any friction or simply measuring the satisfaction rate. Some of the examples of engagement categories are uh, daily active users, monthly active users, or uh, tracking engagement rate, average session duration, while a uh, task success rate or success rate, uh, bounce rate, or feature usage rate. This is uh, as simple as uh, your product having n number of features, but customers are using only a few features. Uh, where you want to measure those uh, by knowing what it is that they are abandoning. And the last one is customer satisfaction rate or net promoter score. Uh, happiness metrics can be uh, measured by integrating some features to analyze how customers are genuinely feeling about your product. You can include those features like uh, the five-star rating or even a referral within the product. Here are some of the development metrics that you will always uh, need to track to see the technical performance of the product. As a product manager, you will go through some of these uh, metrics with engineering while designing and developing the product itself. All in all, it's crucial for any product manager to track metrics throughout the journey. A good product manager will always be data savvy and metrics informed. However, a great one along with being data savvy will be obsessed with customers. Thank you all.